What's going on, Everdog Man Dan here? It is time to get some shit off my chest. Yes, it is time. And this isn't going to be a rant. This is just one of those videos. It is time to get some shit off my chest because it is it is just rampant. Uh, you know, for a while now, I've kind of just kept myself quiet. I keep to myself. Obviously, I've been so busy with my regular job or when I didn't have a job for a while there. And, uh, and I'm very, very busy and active on trying to manage my channel and trying to manage the Nog community, and trying to keep up with the clan, and everything that's going on, you know, uh, that I, I don't really have time to know what's going on outside of things when you talk about, hey, this channel's got this problem, or this channel's got that going on, or this and that. And I used to do that. You know, a while back, I was trying to support everybody. I was trying to help out all the little guys. I said, hey, this guy's now fan channel. Hey, this guy's now, and this and that. And that those fan channels are just blown out of uh, out of proportion, which is awesome to see so many people supporting the game and see so many people uh, being able to be part of the fan channels uh, and public press media relations to help keep the game alive. It's It's awesome to see that. You know, there's no doubt about that. Uh, but it's of course it's too big for me to be able to to take a part and and try to help out some of these smaller channels and really it does it comes down to if you're going to have a YouTube channel you're going to have a Twitch channel you're going to have something it's your responsibility to get your yourself uh, going to get yourself recognized to make that content that people will want to come and watch and I'm not saying that I'm the biggest channel because Lord knows I'm not the biggest channel. Um, but I can tell you one thing for sure. Everything that I do is straight from my heart, and it is truthful, it is honest, and it will always be. I'm not here to make some little uh, fake, you know, scripted content for you and give you false information. I'm just kind of giving you what I know. And if I don't know something, I don't know something. I'm not going to say that I'm 100% perfect. And I'm not going to tell you that the stuff I do is 100% perfect, but it fits for what I do and what I want. And for everybody that enjoys my stuff, that's great. I, I love it. I love you guys enjoying this stuff. You know, I love being part of uh, a lot of different communities uh, and working with a lot of different developers and working with different public relations uh, companies now and such. And I do. I just enjoy it. And I have a whole bunch of goals that I want to meet and achieve uh, as I progress, you know, yearly through YouTube and as we grow, as the channel grows, as things happen, as the community grows, not just Warframe. Um, but I think it's time to kind of open my mouth once more and stick my hand in my foot. And I know that that a hand in my foot, stick my foot in my mouth, whatever you want to call it, because I know that if people are still watching or listening at this point, we're going to get to the point where the dislike button is going to be the massive hit here, uh, which isn't becoming very surprising anymore because I'm seeing a lot more dislikes on my stuff because a lot more people, I think, are pretty much just getting pissed off that I still am doing things and am being different than everybody else and, uh, and quite frankly, don't give a shit. See what I'm saying? Um, I, I, and for people that haven't noticed, uh, the channel now, you – your comments are all held for review until I've reviewed every comment and release it um, for several factors. One, because YouTube doesn't always message me when somebody leaves a comment. So by putting it up to a hold for review, then I can review every comment that comes in and be notified that there's a comment. So I can review it and look at it and say either if I need to respond to it or just put it up there and say, yes, yeah, OK, that type of thing. Because I also on the flip side, I get a lot, a lot of hate. A lot of people call me things that you just don't need to be out there seeing um, or bringing down the channel. Or if I post it, then somebody else gets all pissed off and gets get in on the conversation. Then they start getting rimmed into it. And, uh, you know, it, it's not needed. We're here to uh, here to entertain. I'm here to entertain uh, as best as I can just being myself. Um, I'm not going to say that I'm an actor. That will never be happening. Uh, but, you know, I just try to be as honest and true to myself as possible, and I think that relays in most of the stuff I do, but uh, as I ramble a bit more. Um, but the situation has come to light that there's a problem between several YouTube channels. Um, and I've seen it now from comments people have left me uh, on the forums, 
And I've even seen it now where the developers uh, in Warframe's case are actually involved in this and are taking sides. So trying to be calm and talk about this in the proper way and seeing it from all different sides. So first off, I've been on the receiving end, and I'll just come right out. I've been on the receiving end several times of Magamu and Quiet Shy and Tactical Potato and DK Diamantes and all these people that are the large channels of Warframe. I've been on the receiving end of their hate for years now. Sometimes it's gotten so bad to the point where I've had to take down videos of mine because of what they've done to trash what was an awesome video. And it's happened several times. And they've done it to me. They've done it to other people. They've actually gotten other people to leave uh, the community because those guys are just such astards. And they think that they can do whatever the hell they want because they've got the power. Um Whereas smaller channels just can't. They can't compete. Uh, and they can't survive the dreadful hate that comes along with it. Because when one of these guys gets on you and they send all their buddies and friends towards you, your channel is just going to get ass raped. It's going to get ripped apart. Uh, and everything you do is going to get ripped apart. Which is why I have so much hate on my videos because these people come to my channel anonymously and just hit the dislike button. I'm not stupid. I know what's going on. Uh, you just, you know, uh, quite frankly, I think it, it just, it amazes me that you all act like little children. Um, just let me do my thing, you do your thing, and for uh, oh, oh, several months now, I've been that way. I don't got time to watch these channels and see their bullshit and their crap and their their acting, if you will, or their little three, four, thirty second videos that are just basically ripping into the game developer and the game. Uh, and they say, oh, it's because we're so passionate. You know, whatever. You want to fucking rip into a game developer, but yet you think that you're doing good? You're not doing good, but yet, you know, I don't know. Because apparently the game developer thinks you're doing good because you've got a lot of popularity. And obviously it's all about popularity and not about uh, what's actually happening. I mean, it, you know. So when I say something... A lot of people like it, a lot of people listen, a lot of people hate it, whatever. Uh, it makes a difference to some people. Um, my numbers are nowhere near as big as other channels, but I don't give a shit. I'm doing my thing, and I'm proud of what I do, and I'm happy with what I release, and I'm doing the best that I can with the tools that I have and the limited time that I have to get through and do things and entertain you. But it does bother me when channels get in and say hey we're gonna go after this guy because he's hating on me and so forth and so on i mean i think that's wrong and never ever have i had the experience where developer gets involved and decides to ban somebody's account because of what's going on hey guess what you have no right to stop freedom of speech if somebody doesn't like what some other content creator is doing they have the full right to say it on their channel. They have the full right to speak out if they want to. It's a freedom of speech thing. Uh, it's freedom of media, freedom of press, whatever you want to call it. They have the right to call somebody out. And as a content creator, people call me out all the time. And I think, actually, I know that out of all the channels that I've ever watched and I'm around and I see... I'm one of the few that let most people just say what they want and speak their mind. Unless you're absolutely disrespectful uh, to myself or uh, another person who's commenting, I let you speak your mind. Because everybody deserves that right. And uh, these people, they don't. They don't like it, they delete it. And they hide it. And it doesn't happen. And they ban you. And they just get what they want. That's the way it works, I guess. I don't know. But the situation that's going on right now uh, between, well, I guess what it is, Quiet Shy, that Rob guy, and, and Revix Dev has gotten out of hand. And DE's now gotten involved. And uh, they shouldn't have gotten involved. I don't care. Uh, Steve, you should not have gotten involved. It is not your 
your duty to be involved with what other channels are doing with each other. Uh, and it is not a point where you should be taking sides with certain channels. Certain channels that rip into you every single day, but I guess because they're so big, because they're part of the mobster network, uh, they can. And that just that's a that's a strike against you. I'm sorry. You guys are having some issues lately. I mean, there's things going on. You're you're falling behind. You are falling down the drain slowly but surely. Uh, and and that's upsetting. I mean, three years into this, and now you're starting to slack. I love this game. Uh, but if it goes down the hill like Firefall did, uh, just like that, because of the investor, and the investor wants certain things out of you, I don't give a shit if they got voting rights or not. If the investor pulls the plug, you've got no money, and you know that, and that's how that works. And so if the investor says, hey, this is what we want done, and you go ahead and you do it, and you screw things around, and now you start taking sides with channels, you should never take sides. Ooh, there's my phone. And I can be totally off base, but I don't think I'm totally off base. Um, no, I'm not totally off base. I'm right. A developer shouldn't be taking sides with another channel because they don't like something that somebody else is doing. They shouldn't be banning somebody's account just because they don't like how somebody is talking to another channel. Uh, that's not appropriate at all. Now, if it is the case where they have been able to physically record this guy exploiting, physically exploiting, they can check it from his game files, or cheating or hacking, then yeah, he deserves to get banned. But just because you don't like a conversation, or you don't like what's being said, uh, you have no right to ban somebody. Oh, I'm sorry, that's 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 against ethics, man. That's that's just that's just piss poor. I don't I don't know what else to say. That's just piss poor. Just because you don't like what somebody's saying, that hey, you're banned. That's it. You're done. Absolutely not. And you know what? If you don't like what he's saying, then you shouldn't like what the other ones are saying, and they should be banned too. Because quite frankly, they make the same type of content. One makes hate content. One is all sexual all the time uh, and whatever. And the other one, I don't know what the fuck those videos are. I, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know how that person, he, gets so many people uh, on whatever that that uh, whatever that is that I was doing for a while. And I said, no, I stopped. Um, that donation site there, Patreon, whatever. How these people manage to garner all this stuff on that but I, I, really i don't i don't understand it i don't know yeah i know i know people are gonna say well you never had anybody because <laughs> you suck your stuff is stupid ha 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 whatever you know what i do this because i like it i do it because i enjoy it i do it because i know that the people that enjoy what i'm doing actually get something out of it uh i do it because i uh, i know that People can interact with me, and I still, to this day, respond to almost everybody as much as I can, as often as I can, except for when I'm away, you know, traveling and all that crap. But I, I end up getting back to you a few days later, um, and I don't want to hear, well, it's because you only got so many thousands of subscribers, and these guys have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Hey, we are in a public media outlet. It is our responsibility as a content creator to deal with the good, the bad, and to interact with our community of followers uh, and to interact with our peers. But apparently our peers want to act like little babies um, and say, I'm better than you and I can simply get the developer to ban your account if I want to because of the way you're being to me. So ha ha ha. Yeah. I'm not too happy about that right now. I never really say anything bad about Warframe or DE or the developers and all that stuff because I do enjoy what they do, but you may have just gone to the wrong side with this. Um, and I'm still rambling like I do, and most people probably have stopped listening, so it is what it is. But anyway, yeah, I had to speak my mind. I mean, I've dealt with these people for three years, and they've been the absolute hate of my channel. This is what these people do. They come to the channel anonymously, hit the hate button, the dislike button, whatever. Uh, they send their friends here. They dislike them. 
you know, whatever. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm just going to keep doing my thing. And when I feel like speaking up like I am right now, or speaking my mind, I will. Because that's what I do. I tell it to you straight up as it is. I don't hide anything. I'm not here to give you lies. I'm not here to to be an actor. I'm here to entertain you as best as I can and be as truthful as I can and honest with myself while I'm doing it. Because that's just how I want to create my content and do it. Anyway, I'm just going to stop. It's time to go get dinner. I'm done. I've worked another long ass week and uh i'm ready to go get some dinner so uh yeah i'm gonna take the family uh out and um yeah we'll get something to eat and then we'll get back saturday night relax a bit maybe get some game on um you know that type of stuff but uh, until next time thanks for listening watching whatever probably just listening uh to me rant this whole time And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Until then, we'll see you soon. Be safe.